Will Donald Trump become president of America in 2024? In this video, I'm going to analyze the chances of Donald Trump becoming president in 2024 and why I think Donald Trump will become president. So there's two points here. First of all, can he win the Republican nomination? Can he become the leader of the Republican Party? And number two, as, as the Republican nomination, can he win the whole presidency? So, Republican nomination, it looks like, yeah, he's totally going to win it. He is 40% 40, 40 ahead of it any nearest candidate uh, in the Republican uh, nomination. So it looks like, I mean, DeSantis was at one point relatively close. Well, there was, at one point, he was only 15% away from Trump. But Trump is now around 40% ahead, and he's sitting at 53% uh, fifty-three percent of the Republican Party to say they'll vote Donald Trump uh, to become uh, the Republican nomination. So it looks like within the Republican Party, he's definitely going to win. <laughs> there has to be some catastrophe or something around, uh, yeah, he's going to win, basically. He's going to win the Republican nomination. Now, there's a next step of, as the Republican nominee, can he win the presidency? Okay, so who is he going to be going against? So it looks like the chances are it's going to be Joe Biden. Very high chances that it's going to be Joe Biden. Um, so saying Donald Trump is going against Joe Biden is going to be the same as it was, and uh, it's going to just be reliving uh, past experiences really for the American public <laughs> but uh, so let's look at it hopefully I'm gonna have this chart on the screen but in 2023 uh, this is just some statistics about Donald Trump versus Joe Biden so you can see what the American public really think of them in 2023 63% had a favorable opinion of Donald Trump 63% of the American public liked Donald Trump Compared to Joe Biden, with 60%. So Donald Trump has a 3% lead now. Nothing really to look at because it, they're basically the same. Uh, statistics go up and down, and also you don't really know. There's always a, there's, a, there's an error uh, percentage, so they could, it's basically the same. Uh, dislike, and they have, uh, now moving from like to dislike. So 35% of uh, the American public disliked and had an unfavorable opinion of Donald Trump in 2023. So 63% liked him, 35% disliked him, compared to Joe Biden, 39%. So like I said, because of the different, uh, because of the percentages and because of statistics, they, you don't really, they could be, uh, the polling data could be uh, an error for a few points. So they're basically the same. Uh, so two thirds liked them, one third didn't like them. More or less the same for Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Uh, so right now, so basically they're at the more or less the same place. You could say Donald Trump's ahead by a bit, but I wouldn't really count it. I would say at least how many people like him versus how many people like uh, Joe Biden. I think they're more or less the same. So what I would really say this presidency is down to is down to two main things. So as the majority of both parties heavily despise the other party, so a Republican really hates the Democratic Party and the Democrat really hates the Republican Party, what it really comes down to is independence, right? So one, number one is independence, and number two is which party drums up the most voters. So Republicans are very likely to vote for their nominee, if it's Donald Trump, whoever it is, they're going to vote for their nominee, and the Democrats are going to vote for their nominee, whether it's Joe Biden or someone else. So number one, how many, uh, uh, how many voters can each of the parties convince to go out and vote? How many of their supporters can each party convince them to go out and support? Because not all citizens actually vote. So it's, you need to take that into consideration. How, much, how, how many uh, voters will you get? And number two, uh, how many of them will be able to convince independent voters? Because there are some inde independent voters. Let me just read out the stats on that. So in America, there's 26% of them are Republican, 26% uh, of voters are Republican, 31% are Democrat, and 38% are independent. Uh, so not all of them are truly independent. Some of them say they're left-leaning, some of them say they're right-leaning. It's not truly independent, but, but it's up to these two things, like I said. Number one, uh, number one is how many, which party would be able to drum up the most voters and convince them to actually go out and actually vote. And number two is how many of them will actually get uh, independent voters, because independent voters is a huge, it's 38%, so it's a lot of people. So how many of them, how, which party will be able to get the most independent voters? And I think that's really what it comes down to. I mean, a couple of months ago, I did say, I believe Donald Trump will become president in 2024. I said that a couple of months ago. 
And I'm going to say that again. The statistics are saying it could be Donald Trump or it could be Joe Biden. Uh, but I personally believe it's going to be Donald Trump. Not because of any particular statistic, just because in 2016, everyone thought Donald Trump was going to lose. Yet, Donald Trump beat everyone's expectations and won. And won, really. Uh, Donald Trump beat everyone's expectations and still won. So I think that's something uh, that you have to take in consideration, that Donald Trump doesn't always, doesn't always work by statistics. And he generally has... I mean, it depends, of course, how he acts and how he talks about uh, the 2020 election and how he takes other things into consideration. But I think, uh, I think, I personally believe Donald Trump will win, although the scope uh, for change.